This video will explain how to normalize a block counts from standard penetration test. Uh, we're going to correct it for 60% uh, of total energy that we use in such a test. And we're also going to normalize it to the overburden pressure of about 100 kPa. So to do that, we're going to use uh, this relationship. So this is the formula uh, to normalize it for 60% of total energy and uh, that we are using uh, uh, this test and you will see that there is a few uh, correction factors ch cr cs and cb they're all given in this table so these are correction factors for hammer for uh, length of roads for sampler and uh, for borehole diameter so uh, that's what we're going to do first and then we're going to normalize it to the overburden pressure. To do that, we are going to use uh, this relationship proposed by Liao and Whitman. Um, in this case, we need to know the effect of stress uh, at the point, at the depth where we uh, conduct this uh, standard penetration test. And once we know this correction factor Cn, we just going to put it in the formula and find uh, this corrected um blown numbers uh, for spt okay now let's see how it works and we're going to look at this borehole log and let's just choose some depth um let's choose uh, these numbers uh, we choose the depth of uh, well it says about 4.3 meters 4.3 meters and you will see that it says spt and then it says uh, three numbers three three four so what we typically do, we uh, ignore the first one. And then in this case, uh, the n will be the sum of the second and the third number. So it will be seven. So um, this number n that we get from the test is seven. Now let's go ahead and normalize it. And first we will normalize it against the energy. And we're going to find this uh, correction factor. Let's, let's assume that we use a hammer, um, which is a free fall uh, donut type. Um, we're going to get the correction factor of 1.3. For road length, it's about 10 meters, so correction factor 1. For sampler, it's a standard sampler, correction factor 1. And for borehole diameter, well, it will be in this range from 65 to 115 millimeters. Again, the correction factor is 1. So now let's find this uh, coefficient, CR. It will be um, 1.3 times uh, 1 times 1 times 1. So it will be 1.3. And now we'll find N60. So it will be um, number of uh, blows, which is 7 times the coefficient uh, correction for energy 1.3 it will give us um, approximately 9.1 now let's uh, normalize it um, against the overburden pressure and we're going to use uh, this formula by Liao and Whitman uh, we'll need to find the effective stress at depths of uh, 4.3 meters because uh, the numbers that we use uh, um, obtained for the depth and uh, we we'll need to find total stress and total pressure uh, to find the total stress uh, we need to know the unit weight of uh, soil so if you remember the formula is unit weight times the depth so we don't know the unit weight we're going to assume that it's uh, 18 kilonewton per square meters it's a common assumption in such cases and then we multiply it by uh, 4.3 meters and it will give us approximately 77.4 kPa. So to find effective stress, we need to uh, subtract polar pressure from uh, total stress. Uh, we need to find if there is any groundwater level or not. Uh, when we um, examine the borehole log, you will see that groundwater not encountered. So um, we assume that there is no groundwater level here. So in this case, polar pressure will be zero. And uh, the effect of stress is going to be equal to the total stress. And uh, it will be equal to uh, 77.4 uh, 
KPA. Now let's find this correction factor for the overburden pressure. I'm going to write it down here. Cn is equal to uh, 9.78 times the square root of 1 divided by the effective vertical stress, which is 77.4. And it should give us uh, approximately um, a value of 1.115. So finally, we are going to correct um, blown numbers for the overbuilding pressure. And we already did it for the energy. So we're going to use uh, that number for the energy, which is 9.1. And we're going to multiply it by 1.115. It will give us approximately uh, about 10.1. Uh, so this is going to be the value after we have uh, corrected um, the real um, field value. Uh, and normalize it to 60% of total energy and overburden pressure. Thanks for watching this video and have a nice day.